I'm Suzanne Ridgway, this is Let Us Eat, and today we're going to get it all done. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, and let's go. Yes, we're going to get it all done today. It is Saturday, and I have a lot to do this morning. I want to get it all done, and I want to enjoy the day with my family. It's going to be dry for the most part of the day and raining later tonight. And we're going to cook. We're going to clean. We're going to get ready for the weekend. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my link. This is the video for you. I am going to help you get motivated to get cleaned up, to get decluttered, to get organized, to cook, to menu plan. Any of this interests you, click on that subscribe word below. Grab yourself a cup of coffee and enjoy my videos. Watch all of them. I have players lists below and I will link my cleaning players lists below in my description box. For those who watch me every single day, thank you so much for everyone's support. I really appreciate it. For those who just watch and not subscribe, and thank you. And I'm hoping that this is the video where you finally click on that subscribe word. Let's start by doing a walkthrough to see what we need to do. I am gonna turn this camera around and we're gonna do a walkthrough. A walkthrough is extremely important when you have a lot to get done in a short amount of time because it pinpoints all the issues that need attention and if you are on a short amount of time pick the ones that are going to be in the way through the whole day and be an eyesore this is easy to do just take a look in your home on what you want to do and zone it off in sections I have talked about zones before you should spend about 20 minutes per zone, removing five to 10 items each area until the area looks the way that you want it to. I need to get the trash can emptied this morning. And I'm gonna take care of the stove top. And then when coffee's done, we're gonna get that cleaned up. I have to find a place for the new cases of water. I have two that need to be put away. The countertop is pretty decent. I do have some stowaways hiding behind the crock pot. And I need to wipe it down. We have to get some dishes washed and some dishes put away. In the, the dining area, I need to sweep. And you should sweep every single day to keep your dust down. I have a pile of laundry to fold. The table just needs wiping down. And I gotta take care of the gerbil. I'm gonna put away some chips. And we have beds to make, and you should make your beds every single day. I'm gonna start by making this bed. up the corners and swap it out. No time at all the beds made. I'm going to take the garbage outside. And then I'm going to wipe down the garbage can completely before I put a fresh garbage bag in. And I like to do this once a week, but I wipe down the lid and the base of it every other day. Scrub your sink every other day and wipe it down every single day.
use Ajax. My grandmother did, and my mother did, and I do. Even my brother uses Ajax. My other brush for the toilet. I do a scrub. This has hard water stains on it, and I've said many times before, it will not become picture-perfect clean. I rent, so I clean as best as I can. I'm sure whenever we move out, the landlord will replace and remodel the entire bathroom. Now I take my washcloth and I get this part that doesn't come off too well. Always do the rim of your toilet seat here. No sense having a clean toilet and not do the back part. Always wipe down this part. I'm gonna fold my laundry now. I'm gonna have to refold the laundry. I'm gonna do a sweep. I don't need to mop. I just mopped yesterday, and then I'm going to prep dinner for the crock pot. Now yesterday we were going to have bell stuffed peppers, but it was 88 degrees and we went swimming. And my video from my Dollar Tree haul, that was a surprise Dollar Tree shop for my husband. I showed some pictures and video of the waterfall we went swimming at. So I'll make sure I put that video in my description box below. Some great finds at that particular Dollar Tree. It's a little further away and it seems like the ones that are farther away have really great stuff. Walmart's has amazing tank tops for children and, and girls. And these are $2.98 and I scooped up about three of them. The laundry's all folded and I'm going to put it away. And I left out an outfit for myself for after my shower so I don't have to pick anything out. It's going to be warm today, so just a tank top and shorts. Then after we put this away, I'm going to sweep up, and then we're going to put away dishes in the kitchen and get the sink cleaned out and washed up. Ever since I did my kid's dresser here with the folding of the clothes, and we put away the winter stuff, things are so much easier to find, and we don't have a problem getting ready in the morning now. or after a bath. They come right in, take out a nightgown, take out underwear. They know where everything is. And I'm going to leave out some clothes for them to wear for today. Shorts and a tank top. I'm going to put away these shorts and tops. I'm going to put tops on this side. And then I put shorts on this side. On to the sweeping part of my video, and I've swept many a times for you, so I'm not going to videotape this part. Just go to my players list if you want to see a full cleaning, get it all done. 
I'm going to sweep up and then we're going to put away dishes and wash up dishes in the sink and clean it out. Wipe down the garbage can and place the bag. I already wiped down my garbage can. And I tried my bag inside out because this is the best way to get these tight, tall kitchen bags into your tall kitchen can. And you're just going to wrap it around. If there's any air, let it out. And it takes less than a minute. Before I fought with it for at least two and it was frustrating. That trick that I saw is awesome. The trick that I saw was on TikTok and I have no idea how to find the link but it was phenomenal and I have my own version available here on YouTube and I will put that short in my description box below. Check out all my shorts, they're five minutes or less and they have some really great insightful tips on home life and home making, keeping your house clean and dinners always available to your family. I'm gonna put away these dishes and then we're gonna wash all the dishes in the sink and take care of the bottles in there and get them put them in the proper areas for recycling and then we're going to wipe the sink out clean and start getting ready to prep the stuffed peppers for dinner tonight started heating up the water to make all these dishes wash. There's really not that much here. Some of them are just big. I'm going to wash them. Let them air dry. Make sure you get all the soap out of the tall glasses. In your coffee mug, make sure there's no sugar stuck to the rim of the base. No cereal stuck to the bowl. It's not slimy. Put on the fork, take the scrubby side, and just rub until you don't feel it anymore. I rinse out my food catchers, and I'm going to clean out the sink now that the dishes are all washed. I always start by hosing. You don't want to get through the sun. And then I take one of my wiping sponges. I keep a couple on hand, one for washing, one for wiping different surfaces. And then I throw them out as they turn color. Your sponges should be completely dry before you use them, even though there's no germs in them. If you feel your sink smells a little bit, you can go ahead and put some lemon juice, baking soda, and vinegar in the drain, and it will get rid of the smell. And that's one cup each. Make sure you put some hot water in that mixture so the baking soda dissolves. In no time at all, we have gotten a lot done today. When my kid is up later, I'll fold the blankets and put them away in the hope chest. They like to sleep out on the couch cooler out there for them.
Now in circular motions, I'm going to wipe down the countertop. Wipe down your countertop multiple times a day after every single meal prep, including snacks. Circular motions on your stove top. And we're going to put Mr. Rooster away. Just leave the lid here for now until the Dutch oven is completely dry. And you wipe down the front of your microwave, the keypad. as well as the inside of the door and the roof of the microwave. I just did the dish yesterday, so I don't have to do anything with that. And keep your microwave nice and clean all the time. The inside of the door. I have a whole video of cleaning ovens and my cleaning players list as well as my lettuce eat players list and around August I'll be doing another big oven cleaning. I do it every four to six months depending how bad it gets and I use the Dollar Tree oven cleaner, nothing fancy. I'm going to take down the coffee station. I'm going to dump out the grounds. My husband doesn't want coffee this morning. So I'm going to pour my extra coffee, which we rarely have, into a container because I'm going to make some iced coffee for later today. I'm going to wipe down the dinner table. You should do this every single day. I did a craft last night, and I just want to make sure all the glue is off of it, and the wipe will take it right up. I had a mat down, but it wasn't big enough for the giant wreath I made. I'm going to wipe down the coffee maker and the countertop here, make sure there's no sugar. And I have to open up my new coffee tomorrow. I'm excited about that. After every big can, we switch the brand just so it's something different. To make these amazing stuffed bell peppers for your crock pot, you'll need a pound of ground beef, a couple cans of tomato soup, three bell peppers, which is for my family. For your family, it depends on how many people in your family will eat a stuffed bell pepper. Pepper, garlic, and egg. Just a small bowl for this mixture for the bell stuffed peppers. It's like you're going to be making a meatloaf. You can stuff your peppers any way you choose. This is how my family does it, how my mother did it, and how my grandmother did it. Make sure your hands are clean. And just squish the meat together. Take an egg, and crack it right in there. Then you're going to take three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. And you can take three teaspoons of garlic. If you wanted to, you can add oregano or Italian seasoning. And you add three teaspoons of garlic or you can add fresh whatever you feel like doing. Now I'm going to show you how to prep these bell peppers after we mix this meat mixture. I'm going to take half a can of this Campbell's tomato soup. I believe this is 14.5 ounces. 
Nope, it's ten and a half ounces. Just about a half a spoon and a half a can here. You don't want to get it too wet. And you're going to take your hand and you're going to mix it. Make sure that egg is completely mixed into the beef mixture and incorporated in. how to prep this bell pepper. First, rinse them off. And then you make sure all the stickers are removed. There doesn't appear to be any on these guys. I guess the red one is fancy. Now you're going to take your knife and cut to the top as close as you can. And you're going to pop out the insides and then the hat fell out all by itself. And we're going to also use this. We're just going to dump it into the crock pot. Cut it to the end as close as you can. Pop out the insides and then pop out the top and reserve the crown. And you're going to cut as close to the edge as you can. The hat fell right out this time again. And pull the insides right out. I decided to add last minute some dried onion soup mix because I didn't mince any onion for this dish. And this will give it tremendous flavor. I'm going to put about a tablespoon down. That's all you need. And then just mix it. I'm going to wash my hands and when I get back we're going to throw this into the crock pot. Since I am cooking with raw beef, I went ahead and preheated my crock pot to low. Do this ahead of time. I'm going to dump my tomato soup right into the crock pot. If you don't have tomato soup, you can just use spaghetti sauce. And then the rest of that can that I put into the mixture, I'm going to dump it right in. And then I'm going to add just two teaspoons of garlic. Two teaspoons of the fresh black crack pepper. And these bell peppers. I'm going to put them right in there. I'm going to use my scoop here. And we're going to add a generous amount of beef into our bell pepper. And then it's going to look like this. You're going to repeat the process until all the bell peppers are stuffed. Now my 11 year old won't eat these, so she'll get either breakfast for dinner or fish. Fill it to the top. I was thinking there was too much beef here, but there's not. One pound was perfect for three giant bell peppers. Now 
whole entire bowl three giant bell peppers. So if you were going to do six bell peppers, I would use two pounds of ground beef. I'll make sure everything you need to know and the recipe is in my description box below. Look at how beautiful these stuffed bell peppers are. And that's a lot of beef. That's one pound in those gigundo stuffed bell peppers and they smell so good. I'm glad we waited till today to have this for dinner because it's going to be another hot day and we're going to be spending a lot of time outside. My 17 year old has a driving lesson later this morning. We're going to get breakfast going in a little bit and we have lots to do today. We got it all done. We got it all done. We got it all done. What was your favorite part of getting it all done today? Putting away laundry, the bell stuffed peppers, making them, cleaning up the kitchen, making beds. Put it in the description box below. What would you like to see me clean next? Maybe I'll make a video of it. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me today. Everybody means a lot to me. Look for my shorts here on YouTube. The videos are five minutes or less. And I'm going to start a players list of all my shorts so you can find them easily along with my other players lists. Clean with me, cook with me, Dollar Tree dinners, Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, and then the Walmart Five Below combo hauls. I had a great time hanging out with you guys today. Thank you so much for being my pal and getting me motivated to clean. I hope I got you motivated to clean in return. If you're new here, thank you so much. Let me be your motivation coach so we can get it all done and get cleaned up for the weekend. Click on that subscribe word below. Smash that like button so you can get it all done. Also, tap on that bell because YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video and I upload every day.